This video shows a technician molding strength test specimens in accordance with the ASTM C1435 standard practice for molding roller compacted concrete and cylinder molds using a vibrating hammer. Test specimens are molded vertically in cylindrical molds by compacting the stiff to very dry concrete mixture in four lifts using a vibrating hammer. The method is used instead of rotting or internal vibration, which cannot properly consolidate concrete of this consistency. The equipment needed for this test method includes a Type A reusable mold conforming to ASTM C470. It shall be 6 inches in diameter and 12 inches in height. Or a Type B single-use plastic cylinder mold may be used in place of the reusable mold. It shall also conform to ASTM C470 and be 6 inches in diameter and 12 inches in height. A vibrating compaction hammer having a mass without tamping plate and shaft of 22 plus or minus 3.3 pounds. It also shall have a minimum power input of 900 watts and be capable of providing 2,000 plus or minus 200 impacts per minute. A circular steel plate attached to a steel shaft which is inserted into the vibrating hammer chuck. The plate diameter shall be 5.5 inches plus or minus an eighth of an inch and the mass of the plate and shaft assembly shall be 6.6 .6 plus or minus 2.2 pounds. A square ended shovel, a hand scoop, a tamping rod, and a stopwatch. A type A reusable mold will be used in this video. Please consult the standard information on molding specimens using the Type B single-use mold. Concrete test specimens shall be molded within 45 minutes after the completion of mixing unless otherwise specified. Lower the vibrating hammer into the mold to check for proper clearance. Place enough concrete in the mold so that the mold will be filled to one-fourth of its volume after consolidation. Use a tamping rod to distribute the loose concrete as it is added. Place the vibrating hammer with the tamping plate onto the concrete. Start the vibrating hammer and allow the concrete to consolidate under the tamping plate. As the concrete consolidates, mortar should fill the annular space between the outer edge of the tamping plate and the inside mold wall. Observe the tamping plate. When the mortar ring forms completely around the tamping plate, stop the vibrating hammer. If a significant portion of the mortar ring does not form after 20 seconds, the vibrating hammer shall be stopped and the next layer of concrete added. Repeat the procedure for the second and third lifts of concrete, filling the mold to approximately one half and three fourths of its volume respectively. For the fourth lift, overfill the mold by mounting the concrete above the top of the mold. Again, place the tamping plate on the loose concrete and consolidate. If the tamping plate consolidates concrete below the top level of the mold, turn off the vibrating hammer. Place additional concrete in the mold so that when consolidated, the concrete can be finished smoothly and level with the top of the mold. Finally. Strike off the top of the concrete with the vibrating hammer and tamping plate. With the hammer in operation and the plate in contact with the rim of the cylinder mold, move the plate back and forth across the top of the cylinder to force excess material beyond the rim. Continue working the surface until it is smooth and level with the top of the cylinder mold. Avoid tearing the surface of the concrete. For more information on roller compacted concrete, please visit our website at www.rcc4pa.org.